You know, I've never really been a fan of Sniper Wolf. Uh, you know, she fits in the same category of most of the narcissistic women that like to create content here on the internet. Um, you just, you know, you take a look in their eyes and you just see no soul, you know, and, and even though they're able to put on a front and edit and, you know, take out certain clips of whatever shit they say or bad shit they do on film, you know, on their channel, you can always see in the eyes how soulless these people really are. And it's not just the ladies. There's some guys too, but mainly... Something with internet fame um, just inflates a lot of women's ego to a whole nother level. You know, a lot of women, local women, I should say, that I have on social media already have this celebrity mentality from a bunch of simp losers liking their pictures and DMing them and shit. But, you know, I can't imagine what it's like for these uwu women, you know, these anime chicks on, especially in the gaming community, that are just flustered with guys that sit in their basement all day and just send them you know fucking money and all kinds of shit obviously they they grow this sense of entitlement and this ego beyond lengths that uh a lot of men can't comprehend sniper wolf got in trouble recently because she went to jack's film's house i guess and she was there trying to just dox him you know jack's films is kind of notorious for making content on her uh, but I guess this one time she just decided to show up to his house, I guess, to call him out, you know, uh, almost to like, uh, want to fight with him or something like a, like a man would do, you know, pull up to the house and call him out in front of his front yard. And, uh, Jack's films made a video about it. This is about three weeks ago. So I'm kind of late to the party here, but, um, pretty interesting. Nonetheless, last night, Sniper Wolf, a massive YouTuber showed up outside of our home recorded a video of our home, and then posted it to her 5.6 million Instagram followers, goading me with the line, let's talk like adults. In my 17 years on YouTube, I've never once had someone come to my home and vaguely threaten me. Sniper Wolf needs to be deplatformed. In this exact moment, she turned from a mere content thief to someone who doxes and stalks her critics. To everyone that's reached out to us, thank you. We're fine, we're just a little shaken up. But mainly, we feel violated. We no longer feel safe in our own home because we're dealing with someone who genuinely thinks they're in the right for A, stalking me, and B, posting our home to her massive audience. What a disgusting abuse of clout that is. This is irresponsible at best and flat out dangerous at worst. YouTube needs to step in and take action. If this goes unpunished, then it sets a terrifying precedent that you can dox and stalk your critics so long as you have a big YouTube audience. If she truly wanted to talk with me, she could have done so through many other means. But there's one thing you don't do you do not show up at someone's house. That's simply a line you do not cross. There is zero justification for this. She claims in her story that I've been harassing her. No, Sniper Wolf, I've not been harassing you at all. In my videos on Judge Jack's films, I've been critiquing her non-transformative commentary, I point out cases of content theft and freebooting, and I credit the creators she steals from. I've been critical of her content, but that does not equate to harassment. What is harassment is coming to our home, sharing it for millions to see, and taunting me to come out. YouTube needs to take swift action and ban her from the platform ASAP. And the same goes for Instagram. Speaking of, Sniper Wolf is already making light of the situation as if stalking someone is a quirky thing to do. No one should feel unsafe in their own home. And thanks to Sniper Wolf, my wife and I now do. So YouTube, please do the right thing and get her off the platform. Anyone who weaponizes their fan base like she did does not deserve a space here. You see, I, I kind of understand where he's like coming from as far as danger goes, because... 
you know, like I've mentioned before, a lot of these women, uh, their fan bases are very devoted, very committed to their saviors on the internet. So they will go through extreme lengths to do what if, what is ever necessary to protect um, their savior's image. And a lot of the times, you know, some of these, uh, how can I call it? Incels, there you go, that works good. A lot of these incels, um, don't really have much to risk, so they would do some crazy shit, and there has been some crazy shit that has gone on with other content creators in the past, you know, with fans, uh, you know, showing up to people's houses, trying to rob YouTubers, um, or just breaking into their house, I, I forgot what his name was, he was on Smosh, Anthony, um, I can't remember his name, but there was a fan that actually broke into his house, and luckily, you know, he had a shotgun and shit, so he was able to protect himself, but that is just one scenario, you know, um, going back, you know, these incels don't really give a shit. So I can see how he would feel a little unsafe with, you know, this girl doing that. And, you know, if she really wanted to talk to him or call him out, she could have sent him like a direct message or something, you know, like taking a picture outside his house and then sending to sending it to him directly, like on Twitter or some shit. Um, you know, but posting it to her fans is a little a little ballsy. You know, I would at least blocked out his address or something. Or just try to cover up something. I don't know. Just so he's not completely doxxed, you know. And he knows that I'm outside his house. And stop being a pussy. But, I don't know. This girl's insane. I've never really liked her content. Or just the person that she is. Um, you know, I first became aware of her probably like eight, nine years ago. Uh, probably since I've been on the platform. I remember finding her content and thinking she was a baddie. But, eventually I was kind of uh, distraught. Because she turned out to be very, very psychotic. And uh, not really a good person, so I, um, yeah, don't really partake in uh, trying to contribute to any of her, uh, how would I say, uh, monetary gain on this platform. So I don't know. Well, uh, from what I hear, she recently got demonetized, so that's pretty good. I guess YouTube is trying to take some take some action here for Jack's films. Um, I wonder what platform she will go to next. I guess we will see on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Kai. Smell you idiots later.